Hey, I was lucky enough to be able to speak with um, Harold, Harold Artist. Um, thank you for listening to it. His audio is fine. Mine is not. Give it a try. Um, when it sounds like I'm yelling at him, I'm not actually yelling at him. When it sounds like I'm a robot, I'm not a robot. And when it sounds like I'm far away, I'm not far away. Thanks. Harold. Hey. Justin. How are you? Good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Welcome to the Artist Inventory Challenge. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you... this. Yeah, how are you doing? Pretty good. Just uh, had a long day, but pretty good. It's it's Wednesdays are usually they're usually not that crazy, but today for some reason it's it's it was really crazy for me today. But I'm excited yeah, yeah. to do this. Cool, man. Yeah, I'm actually really happy to talk to you. Um, you sound like you had a lot going on. You're doing some sort of language class, Assyrian. Yeah. So my wife is Assyrian, and oh, so. Wow. Um, early on, like a couple of years ago, I decided, I heard about some classes here in Turlock because that's where we're at now. Yeah. Um, and I said, you know, my in-laws, they don't speak a lot of English, so, and the little one is going to learn Assyrian, so I, I need to know what he's saying. So I decided, wow. I said, hey, I need to learn a language. <laughs> you know how kids get one yeah. over on you if you don't know too much. So. <laughs> That's great, man. So you, you got the wife, you got a kid also? Yeah, we got a little boy. No, he's actually about to be four. Oh, wow. So he's actually so excited about his it's brother a big deal. coming up. He keeps asking us. Yeah. For him, it's a big deal because, you know, he actually is noticing that it's his birthday. Now, before, it's like, you know, whatever. Now, he's a little older. He... Uh, he he realizes, hey, birthdays, you get gifts. So he's yeah. really excited. He's into a, he's into a, what is it, PJ mask, I think it's. Oh, called. yeah, my, my daughter likes that, yeah. He's always asking me to draw. He, he, <laughs> he says he's cat boy. <laughs> nice. When do those kids sleep on PJ mask? When do they sleep? Because they go to school. You know what? I told my wife the same thing. I was like, okay, <laughs> this makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> and not only that, but where are the parents? Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> They're never around. and so They never check up on the kids. And, and <laughs> that's one of the issues I have with that. But for some reason, this series is, like, kicking off. It's it's hitting the it's kids, big... and they love it. Oh, yeah. he dressed up... Um, as Catboy this uh, Halloween, we were downtown and all the kids, hey, it's Catboy! Uh, and I'm like, wow, this this is really something, you know? I I don't so, I don't get it. You don't get it, but it's not for us, though. No, it's not. It, it's <laughs> just some weird fantasy world where there are no parents and kids get to sleep. Uh, not sleep, actually. Sleep yeah, all night. yeah. I thought it was funny that right before this, I was putting my son to sleep. As soon as he was, as soon as he was asleep, <laughs> I came downstairs and uh, let you know I was ready. I think you were with your son, right? Yeah, right he, before, yeah. So like, both of us, are, I think we have a lot of similarities in that we work full time, we have a family, um, and then for me, art comes next, like it's after all that stuff. Yeah, it's it's one of those things where it's. Um... It's it's been a hobby for me for a very long time. I I have had some kind of semi professional yeah. gigs here and there, but um, I always gotta have a steady job yes. to keep the income. Yes, you do. Yeah. And, you know, so I, I don't. It, it gets. I don't. Would you I, call it a hobby? You know, it, it's hard for me to define it as such. Right. Um, until, if, like, for instance, uh, my wife, she doesn't really have anything on the side to do. Mm -hmm. So sometimes she gets bored and sometimes, you know, we, we <laughs> she wants to do stuff. And, and that's fine. You know, I, I don't really, I love hanging out with her and stuff. But um, there are certain things that you do on your spare time yeah. to either relax or, you know, unwind and, and Drawing for me, it, it, it's been kind of that venue ever since uh, since I was little. But towards when I was 
as I got older, I realized, hey, you know, I really like doing this. It's fun. And I, I mean, I met some guys here in Turlock that put me on to cons and yeah. um, little events and comic book stores. And I was like, wow, this is fun. You know, it's much more fun than me drawing by myself. And then, oh, my goodness, people like my stuff. Wow, I didn't know you like my stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it changes from a hobby to something like, see, and that's the thing. I, I, I love doing this. And I, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to take away from that. But right. at the same time, it is, it, is my, it is my safe place, the place I go to when I need to unwind and unstress or de-stress or whatever yeah, yeah. you want to say. Yeah, I, I, don't, so, I don't feel like a hobby really captures how I feel about what I do, you know? And I, I, when I look at what you do on Instagram, I, don't, I wouldn't call that a hobby. Like, you're really passionate about just like I am, you know? Oh, well, you know, funny thing that you should mention Instagram because when I first um, got on Instagram, I was like, what the heck is this? another platform like i don't know if you've been seeing my post but with instagram changing all their algorithms and all oh, this other yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah so when i first started instagram well, i think it was um you know I, I saw someone say hey instagram blah blah blah. say yeah well what are you doing there you know i've heard of facebook and people get yeah. you know stay in contact on facebook yeah and so i was like what can i possibly use this for? right and then after a couple of weeks of, you know, playing around with the system, taking pictures of what? I remember taking a picture yeah. of ants yep. and, like, foliage and stuff like I that. Took pictures okay. of, I took pictures of my daughter. I think that was the first step I posted on Instagram. I use it as, like, a personal thing. Yeah, exactly. And so after that, I was like, you know what? Like, after you start playing around with the system, what I came up with was, you know, I have all these old sketchbooks. Mm. And... It's hard for me to go into one because a lot of the times I'm such a perfectionist that I want to go into and draw something that I drew before, like maybe 20 years ago mm -hmm. and see how I draw it now in my, the style that I have now. And I said, man, it's hard for me to get at those sketchbooks and like flip through the pages. Why don't I just take a picture of the page, post it up there so whenever I need it, I can just, you know, scroll. Oh, there, maybe I can draw that. So I don't know if it happens with you. But there are times where I don't know what the heck I should draw or I want to draw. You know, sometimes we don't feel like doing the same thing all over. Yeah. So, we want to... so that's what it became. And I kept doing that. And at first it was private. Then I opened it up. And then oh, okay. people started liking my stuff. Yeah. I was like, what? You like my stuff? Yeah. You know, my drawings have always been kind of like a private thing to me. You know? Right, 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 right. <laughs> So I, I started doing that. I don't think there's anything I draw down that's private. <laughs> Not anymore, right? You too? Yeah, I, I share everything. Well, now, nowadays, yeah, it's like, well, right. I didn't know you like this stuff, but since you like it, let me just share it. Why not? You know, so. <laughs> I, wa I wanted to... It's a group. No, I was going to say it's a great feeling for to yeah. for someone else to like your stuff i've never had yeah. that experience before and i mean i'm new to this it just i mean to all the people that follow me and all the people that have shown me love and even purchased myself i just want to say thank you because oh, totally it's it's a crazy amazing addictive feeling if any yes. it's just something out of this world so it really is yeah um i'm gonna ask you later on for a follower that sticks out to you okay Sure, sure, no um, I want, but I did want to ask you something else, though. So, Instagram changed its uh, algorithm, and one of the things, and you you actually, you actually posted about this, and you wrote out the changes, and one of them was yes, one of them was that <laughs> using more than five hashtags is like you will get penalized, and you put in, oh my goodness, capital <laughs> PDF question mark <laughs> because you're like the king of hashtags. Dude. <laughs> Now, let me tell you, you have to so at everything. work, <laughs> yes, and one of the things that I use hashtags on, okay, so, for instance, um, ever since I started, I jumped on Instagram, and I noticed this whole hashtag business, uh, and that there's two things that I'm a king of, and, and I don't know if you guys noticed the other one, but the first one is, yes, the hashtag, so 
yeah. I, I went on and I did some research because I also have to manage the one at work. Mm. And so while I'm managing the one at work, I'm learning all these tricks and, and, and oh, okay. all these other things. You know, um, right now I manage the 209 Magazine one and I have to kind of engage people. Yeah. And, you know, I'm always researching how to do this, what, what I don't need to do, what I can do, what you must do and all this other stuff. So I also apply it to my personal account, which is the, um, the hero artist one that you've seen. But seeing all these different people, hashtag this, hashtag that, I was like, okay, so I, I set up a, a series of hashtags that I use normally so that I can um, spread pretty much what I post to all these other hashtags and, you know, yeah. hopefully get new followers or new people that are interested in the stuff that I'm doing. Right. In doing so, you know, I've developed a, a series of hashtags. Every so often I'll go through and change the ones that um, don't, like, don't really, it, I'm not saying relevant, but don't really matter. Let's say there's too many followers for that hashtag yeah. itself. So I'll, go, I'll just go and delete that one and add something new, something fresh. But then they go in and <laughs> change that up on us. Yeah. And I'm like, a lot, of the re a, a lot of the hashtags that I use are used for reference purpose, purposes because certain people have come to me and say, hey, have you drawn Thor? I want to see what yeah, you're doing yeah, yeah. as. I noticed that and recently. I'll be like, yeah. yeah. You look like, like, like yes. Harrow, Harrow, Psych. Or Haro, Haro, yes. Haro Colossus or whatever. Exactly. So you know how much easier that is to, <laughs> to yeah. find a Thor? You know, I did I did one before, but damn, I don't want to scroll through the whole thing. No, that's me. brilliant. I actually, so, I remember when, when I first started Instagram, I thought of doing that as like a lookup system. But I didn't think uh -huh. I didn't full. But the idea, like I, I just didn't follow through with it. But I'm glad you're doing it. Or you were doing it. I don't know if you're well, going to keep it doing works. it. it works. It works, and that's the annoying part of this new Instagram yeah. algorithm thing that, you know, it tells you that if you use the same hashtag too much, it's going to ban you. Or I don't know if it's a scare tactic or what. Yeah. I haven't seen any of the big the big people that I follow get penalized for it. But, I mean, I just wanted to share what I read and what I right. researched, and, you know, hopefully people can at least be aware of right. Instagram is doing these things, you know, uh, but it, it puts a damper on a lot of the stuff that I do because I do want to be able to go back and see, okay, I drew this guy two years ago. Let me see the ones that I did. Let me see if I can draw him better because that's mostly what I use that. That's cool, man. The hashtagging thing, you know. Well, the other thing yes, exposure and all that. So sorry, I don't know what happened. It, I guess I, I think the problem is on my end. I, I have the same issue when I do interviews. I think the con my connection, my Wi-Fi is bad, so I turned off a couple of my other devices. Hopefully, that'll help out. Okay, no problem. All right, so, so go on. Are you there? Oh, yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? What was the question? Do you remember what you, what you were saying before we cut out? <laughs> Nope. <laughs> of course, course not. not. All right. Well, I wanted, I wanted to, I, I like how you're like, you're really good with um, engaging people. Mm -hmm. um, like when I, I see you pretty frequently in other people's comments section, okay. sections, you know yeah. what I mean? And it's, it looks like, like you're not shy about respond, like liking or um, giving replies to people just to join in the conversation, you yeah. know? Um, so like you're, you're really you're good at the social media hustling kind of thing, you know? You know, it's it's funny that you say that, but uh, because, I, huh. um, like I said, I do it for work as well, and I try to yeah. be on top of the work one, but no one really engages in, in the work one, at, at least not as much as they do on mine. And I, it does matter with the followers and, and how many followers you have and whatnot. But um, mm. I'm the type that if, um, if I like – like an artist like for instance when i found you i was like all about i mean i know you remember me asking you questions i'm like hey dude how'd you do that that was awesome or whatever if you respond to me that makes mm. me feel good because like man oh yeah you responded to me so 
as I see people Absolutely. ask me stuff or um, just comment on my stuff, again, this, I'm new to this whole thing of you know fan art and whatnot. Um, people yeah. liking your stuff and whatnot. I'm so new to it that yeah, I guess you can call me a virgin on it, but it's it's an awesome feeling, man. It's and it I'm is. very grateful for the people that do follow or like or even purchase some of the stuff that I that I put out because honestly, I love doing this yeah. and to, for somebody to see the value in it, it's like wow, it, it blows my mind. So when somebody asks me a question, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to respond as fast as I can, or you know, like oh, if yeah. I missed your message, I'm sorry. It's because you know there's so many alerts that I get, but yeah, I try to yeah definitely I I've tried to make it a a thing to be able to respond to people as much as I can. And believe it or not, I've met some really great people. Um, oh yeah. Through that, you know, um, people like I've even asked questions to Jake Parker, believe it or not. And I don't know if you're familiar with him, but yeah. Um, yeah. One of the runs that we did with my buddy, Adam and um, Adam uh, Harris, 100 get Adam and Omar yeah. Salinas. We did a run called uh, 80s Tune. And oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. the, the only reason I did that is because I saw it on Jake Parker's thing. Uh, he has a, a YouTube video on do yeah. 100 things or something like that. Just to, you know, get you motivated, yeah, yeah. get you doing stuff. You know, stop. It's a great it's idea. It's an yeah. awesome idea. It's so much that, you know, everybody's flocking to that hashtag. And I was like, holy crap. Like, I go look at the hashtag now and it's stuff. Not only our stuff, but a whole bunch of other people. And I remember uh, reaching out to um, to Jake Parker and asking him about because he he does these sketchbooks. And I said, "Hey, you know, where do you get these sketchbooks?" He right. hooked me up with people that do it. That um, so what I got was a quote, <laughs> which I, unfortunately I can't afford right now. But you know him and. Yeah. Um, Right now, I forget his name, but on other awesome artists, um, I'll figure out his name in a second. They they put me on to doing that Kickstarter thing that you're doing or that you've done. And I was like, man, if I could do that, you know, and, and get that book published. And because everybody was asking, hey, do you have a print of this? Do you have a I was like, I don't. I don't have any of that stuff. You know, it's, it's it was just one of those yeah. things that I just we just did for fun. But it, it's fun to engage people and it's fun to connect with people and learn new stuff from people. I've learned stuff from people that claim that they're not good artists, but I think that, you know, they're going, they're in the right direction. And I'm like, wow, man, see, I wish I would have learned that when I was your age or when I was doing what you're doing, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I saw you opened a YouTube, a YouTube account also, or channel. Yes, um... In part because I, I saw your stuff. <laughs> so I was inspired oh. <laughs> by you. I was like, man, what I've been trying to do too is um, I, I normally keep a journal, a written one. Well, I've been mm. for years, just personal stuff, you know. And I decided this year, starting yeah. January 1st, to try to do a video journal. Personal, obviously, no one can see what I'm recording. But, um, what it, what it it serves two purposes. One, to log and keep track of not only my feelings, my, my progress, you know, positive stuff. Yes, 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 yes. But um, also yep. prepare me for exposure. Uh, not exposure. I should say more like... Like... Like get comfortable with... Like your practice. Yes. So yeah. It's, it's yeah, helping me yep. practice. Yep, 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 yep. So let me tell you, I am not the type of person i'm really shy i mean i, I know i don't sound it or yeah but um, i get really nervous. no dude me me too <laughs> but honestly me too. you don't seem it when i see your stuff i'm like oh this dude got it man he, he got it don't worry <laughs> but like but like you but i i knew i know the direction that i want to go as far as social media mm -hmm. so i knew that i had to like say f it and just go ahead and plow through it because I knew where I wanted to go, you know? And that's the thing. Sometimes you so just that's, forget about everything. It's else. the same mindset. Yeah. yeah, so it was like, I don't feel comfortable recording myself on YouTube, but 
I want to interview people and I want to do more you know how to stuff, so I better get used to it. Let me tell you, I've seen a couple of your videos so far, and I can sit through them. I mean, there's not that a lot of people that I can say that about. And I'm like, man, this guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, and and your your podcast, these things, man. I was actually listening to them while I was working, and um, cool. I was like, man, this is interesting. Not only that, but you're also exposing a lot of the other artists that are out there. Uh, like the ones that you mentioned, like Lou. Yeah. Um, yes. I was like, wow, this stuff is pretty good. And I had no idea. I didn't follow him. One, because my feed right now, it's so convoluted with with so many things that, right. like, you know. Right, right, right. But um, being able to see or, or be exposed to these new artists or different artists, like, wow, this is cool. I like this stuff, you know. And I even reached out to so, some of well, them. Well, what, what I... Oh, nice. And well, what I like about that a lot is that they're they're similar to us. Like uh, John, John Edward, Jonathan Edward Mills, the guy I talked to, and Luke Brown. They're both dads. Uh huh. You know, they're both dads, just like us. And they're doing their. They, I think they both work and then art on top of that. And they have you know families and wife and. So I, I like that that connecting with people on the same kind of level. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it reminds me of school. When I was in art school, there was this one guy that I clicked with. Wow. Are you drawing right now? I am drawing right now. <laughs> I can hear it. <laughs> I figured, why not, right? <laughs> That's funny. All right. Well, get the mic away from the drawing so I can no, hear okay. it. No um, but I respect that. That's, I respect that, man. That's great. <laughs> All right. You're cracking me up. All right. So are you ready to take the Go challenge here? It. Let's do this. So... The point here is just to kind of see where you're at and track your progress from the past week. And so what I have found for myself is I have to be brutally honest about what, what goals I've met uh, or not met, what, pro- what progress I've made on my, on my projects, you know? And that forces me then to make a plan if I'm not up to snuff, you know? So first off for you, what are the projects that you are working on? Well, I don't know if this happens with you, but it seems to me that every time I sit down and I have just one project, that project turns into six or eight. Yes. <laughs> yes. But right now I have, um, and, and this is completely different from um, comic book art. It's, um, I have to do some okay. illustrations. It, it, it was a freelance gig that I got from somebody from New York. Or actually, no, Pennsylvania. Um, but I met them in through okay. New York when I was there. Um, and um, I have to do eye illustrations or technical bio, biology illustrations using Illustrator. So that's one of the projects that I'm working on. Oh, the wow. the okay. other one, or the other two, I should say. I'm trying to start off this book that I've always dreamed of putting out there. I'm kind of like you and the sculptures. Okay. Um, I was. I've always dreamt of putting yes, this book out. It was called Ghost. Um, ghost Core Chasers. Yeah. There's a ghost out there somewhere. Um, it's plural. Um, and I had the script for a while now, but because me and my buddies from New York, we would get together and and talk about stuff and play video games and all the stuff, and they decide we decided actually to bring these old characters that we had to life and that's what you guys what i've done with the show one of my buddies wrote the script for the first episode and the other one designed some of the costumes and, and little some layouts here and there in certain pages and i did the rest of the work was you know drawing inking coloring lettering all that other stuff so i kind of over the years since i've moved over here to turlock um, I've decided to take over the project and finish it. And I actually finished the first episode, which I'm hyped about because I All have right. so many ideas for the next two and uh, you know, the next whatever amount. So those are the two pro- the three projects that I'm working on right now. Okay. Um, what pro- wait, hold on, wait. There was the freelance, uh, the freelance eyeball thing. Right. The uh, ghosts. ghosts. And what else? And the show, the next episode. So what I'm doing with the next the episode show, okay, is show. just trying to come up with ideas for the next chapter, for the next 
episode. Or All right. Well, so you also have a. I think you have a bigger goal as well. Um, I think I thought I saw you mention that you wanted to take on more of social media presence. Yes. So what I want to try to do is um, do videos, kind of like the ones you have. Not necessarily interviewing other okay. people. I mean, it could turn into that. But um, yeah. just yeah. a lot of people have um, really seem to like the videos that I put when I'm drawing the process of doing the stuff that I'm doing. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, okay, well, you know, I can share this on Instagram, but Instagram only what allows you. I don't even know how many minutes now. I think it went up from one to one. one. It's one. One. Well, not. I think it's still one. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, something a little longer. So what I've been trying to do is to catalog or show from scratch, you know, scratch drawing to finish drawing. Um, the process of okay. all that stuff. And kind of, if anybody has any questions, just ask me and what tools I use and all that stuff. So that's what I've been trying to do. Okay. And, and so, one of my first things is to get comfortable with the camera or to talk because I'm so not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a whole new yeah, thing. It's yeah, it's different. <clears throat> all right. So you have, you have like four or five goals. So uh, what did you accomplish what did you succeed on this past week so what i what i normally do is i'm a list maker so i use certain apps yeah. to kind of organize myself otherwise i'd be all over the place which seems like that already but um i use a an app call and i don't work for them <laughs> but i use an app on the iphone <laughs> things and what it what I do with that is kind of like organize my projects, and when they get a little bit overwhelming, I break them into small chunks, and those chunks could be, for instance, with the eye um, project, I'll do like, okay, I need to do the illustration, the outline of the illustration in, on Illustrator this day for thirty minutes. You know, and so on and so forth. And I'll do that with the other projects. Okay, so write script for 30 minutes for ghosts or, you know, for the show or draw this, whatever. So I've been trying to do that. And what I've accomplished this week is actually um, get the character layouts and, and um, turnarounds in a way or, or designs for ghosts to get started on that. And, okay. Um, for the eye. So hold on. For the for the eye for the. No, go ahead. Yeah. Ask. No. I'm, I'm, so what progress did you make for the eyeball? You you said you had for spent a lot of eyeball, planning. For the eyeball, I did one illustration, um, one of many, and I think okay. there's a ton more. But um, this okay. week I, I managed to finish another one of those illustrations for the eye. Um, okay. For ghosts. Okay. I managed to clean up some of the character designs because I started Ghost many years before the show. And so I think you mentioned this with uh, one of the guys. I, I forget if it was Luke or Jonathan. But um, you said that it's been so long since you've drawn like the first page or the first chapter that when you come back to it, it's it's like you have a different style or something like that. So yeah, my style, style has changed yeah, yeah. from the first cover that I did go. So trying to draw them now, like I need to draw them again so that I can see what I'm going to be drawing, how I'm going to be drawing them. So I've been playing yeah. around with some of the characters here and there yeah. with that. And that's one of the progress. And I call it progress because it helps me in the end to um, kind of get an idea of what the character is going to look like. Uh, and I'm not, since yeah, I'm not yeah. drawing this area. Right, right. Well, that, that's that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing with issue three right now is a ton of uh, d just design work. You know, it's all I need to know what they look like before I, you know, yeah, draw. and um, trying to get them to look exactly the same. It's it's a little more difficult than <laughs> it seems, but you know, once you got if you got yeah, your, yeah, your yeah. layouts done and you know, you know, you're comfortable drawing them a lot helps to get comfortable with them too. So. That's what I've been doing with the sh with ghosts. Okay, yeah, definitely. And the show. All right, so how about uh, um, writing down yeah. ideas um, of what to do with next and and the characters that are gonna appear in the next episode. 
Okay. Uh, okay, so kind of brainstorming, yeah, brainstorming uh, is where you're at? Um, writing down, yeah. you know, what can I do with this character? Where can I take this person? And then, you know, in a lot of those brainstorming sessions that you think of <laughs> what to do next, you come up with ideas for, like, future stuff. And I'm sure that you come across this with sculptures. Like, oh, man, I can do this. But yeah, so... Yeah. Yeah, totally, totally. Um, okay, so what else we got? Um, oh, your social media presence, like YouTube channel stuff? Yeah, so one of the reasons I've been, I want to do that, again, is because of the response that I've gotten from the, the little videos that I put when I do that. Yeah. And I say, you know, why not just show them the full thing since they can't really see the full thing on Instagram? Um, and again, I've been ex- influenced by uh, people like... Jonathan Rector, who, when I first started, when I moved out here to Turlock from New York, I left all my stuff back over there. I just couldn't, like, bring it over with me. We, we drove out here. So I was like, okay, I got to sacrifice some stuff. So a lot of my notebooks, the old notebooks, and um, art materials and everything, I left behind. And I said, you know, I can easily do this on the computer. So I, I used to use Photoshop before, and I used to use Sketchbook Pro. Um, and then I remember I had a program at the time. It was called Manga Studio. And I said, you know what? I'm going to try to re- yeah. I'm gonna try to do the show on, in this program. I was using Illustrator first, and I switched over to Photoshop. Photoshop, of course, you know, it gets costly after a while. Um, I mean, you oh, can yeah. still be on version one or whatever <laughs> from like 1990 but um i decided to try out manga studio and i didn't know how to use it there's no manual to it so i went online one day i found youtube and i found this guy called jonathan Rush. i was like oh this dude uses it let me see what he does and he had a lot of tips to the point that this day i mean i'm not yeah. gonna say we're like friends or anything like that i don't really know him but he's really down to earth guy he does a lot of um, videos where he shows his progress and he shows um, one of the things that I love is he shows his his um, making comics, like how he goes through the process of making the comics, pages and pages. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, wow, dude, he, he shows you, he's shown me at least how to use the program. He's even, I've even That's reached cool. out to him and... Um, asked him i i mean i'm willing to purchase it i said dude can i purchase some shortcuts from you he said dude man what here you go i'll email them to you like really nice guy so i bought some prints from him um but he's been my influence to try to get a a youtube channel out there because he's just so personable and um, okay but you know it's a slow process i'm not really comfortable yet which is why i'm doing the whole you know, journal, video journaling for myself first to try to get that edge. You're not edge, but, you know, that comfortable feeling. Confidence, Confidence yeah. Like you. So you're kind of feeling it out. Yeah, feeling it out, seeing if that's something that yes. I can actually do. And it opens you up a little. It does. It does. I mean, you either grow from it or you... I guess stay the same, right? And the cons actually have helped meeting new people, actually trying to say, you know, hello and whatnot. And um, my friend, my buddy Adam, who has uh, kind of been my little mentor when it comes to cons, because before him, I never did cons. Mm -hmm. It's like con. Oh, wow. It's it's a whole new experience for me. and It is, yeah. So is. Was, was there anything we missed? We got ghosts. We got social those, media. We got uh, those are the only the show right now. I'm sure right? that somewhere along the line something will in the happen. eyeball. Yeah, something in the eyeball, right? And then so, so those four main goals. I thought there was one more, but maybe I'm miscounting. Uh, okay, so that's the progress you've you've made on all four mm-hmm. of those, right? Sounds like it's kind of like feeling stuff out, uh, brainstorming, testing things out. Um, that's kind of the st- stage you're at? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, at this point with everything else, I mean, that's not con- counting regular nine to five. Sorry, hang on a second. Sure. Can you... Hold on, dude. Hold on again? 
Sorry about this. Do you hear that, like, that noise, that, like, beeping noise? I don't. Can you hear me? I can hear you, yeah. Dude, it's driving me nuts. All right. Uh, yeah, the, the damn app keeps making this, like, horrible noise. I don't know why, but all right, whatever. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, I don't hear anything, any beeping at all. So, well, I'm, I'm jealous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, you, so it sounds to me like you're, you're kind of like in, in the initial stages of a lot of this stuff and you're feeling things out, testing things out, planning, brainstorming. Yeah, um, for the most part, I'm not as far as you've gotten, that's for sure. Um, as far as, like, this is my first time doing a book for myself. I have worked on on other projects where it's another writer and, you know, independent writer they pay me a certain amount and whatnot i've done three books so far first one was full color full inks and all that stuff the second the 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 other two were just pencils digital pencils that was the quickest way to get the work done but as far as doing stuff on my own and getting published on my own it's yeah it's one of those feeling like hey do, how do I do this? Do I do this like this? You know, it's it's a learning process. No, it definitely is. All right, so let's look at those goals again. And what did you? What needs to be worked on, or like, what held you back? What were what were the obstacles for each of those goals? In this yeah. Sense? So okay, for the I, a lot of the obstacles for that I project to get it finished because I have a couple more stuff more. Um, I stuff to do and it's all technical you if you saw it you'd be like what <laughs> it's completely completely yeah, right. different from the stuff that you see on my Instagram page but um, what's been holding me back it's nine to five work you know it's it's taking up a lot of the time that I need that I usually take out yeah. for, to work on that project um, on ghosts pretty much the other two i i try to finish one thing before i set on on another it doesn't always work that way but um ghosts is definitely the next the next on my list as soon as i finish the eye i'm gonna put all my focus on ghosts and get that finished okay that again is like my baby and then yeah yeah um, I mean, I'll come up with ideas for the show here and there for the next chapter, and I'll just write them down, just jotting, you know, information down. But then after I finish Ghost, which, as you know, it's going to take me a while since I'm a one-man show. Yeah. Then I'll yes. start on the next chapter for the show, which for some reason, because I've been putting it out there so much, a lot of people have been doing all the fan art and um like you slice the crap out of Super J with your sculpture. <laughs> Dude, when I saw that, it reminded me of my friends, the ones that actually helped me create that. Because we used to do that to, yeah. to each other's characters. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> it was so funny. I was like, oh my God, like, look, somebody else does this too. Like, we used to just draw each other's characters and That's kill great. them off with ridiculous, uh. ridiculous, ridiculous um, ways like I remember one time uh, Super J is not my character it was my, my friends oh, okay. but I used my character which is Spade to <laughs> make him slip uh, on a banana peel and that was the, the stupidest death you can possibly think of man. Yeah, it really so. is it alright so, so with the show really the priority is um is ghosts. Yeah, right now I want to get ghosts out there because right. um, I do have some followers that that there's one guy um, Vion4444 who loves one of the characters from that and I wasn't trying to um, put that book out just yet because I did want to go a couple of yeah. with the show or issues but just him trying to like just hyping her up so much i'm like you know what i'm gonna have to do that now so uh, i decided to kind of like just do it and get it over with okay 
Well, now you gotta you gotta message that person and let them know you you uh, spoke highly of them on, on my show. Yeah, right? I'm gonna let them know that definitely. All right. Um, all right. So what else? Uh, what was the fourth goal? Oh, the social media thing. What's what's the obstacle there with being able to be more present on social media or tackle new uh, objectives, I guess? With social media, I guess it's just confidence, just the, the feeling that I'm not yeah. there yet. And, you know, that you get that feeling with everything, mostly when you first started. Yes. Um, but I don't yes. feel yet that I'm like personable in a sense and in, in video sense um, I am yes. shy and <clears throat> yep. it's easier for me to talk to you one on one and I guess I have to treat it like that in order, totally. in order to I guess move forward but it's hard yeah. it's it's weird too like looking into the camera and like wait what <laughs> It's not yes. something I'm used to. Oh, it's so to. weird, dude. And I, but I've seen you do it, and it's like, dude, it comes so natural to you. I didn't even know how long you've been doing it for. But No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, it, it really doesn't. And uh, I think what helps is is just telling myself, like, fuck it, I'm doing it. And just, like, doing it, you know, because I, I hate that um, that doubt. Yeah. That, that lack of yeah. confidence. I, I can feel it hold, holding me back. And I, I know that I'm like surrendering to it. I hate that. So the fucking attitude has helped me out a lot. A lot. That's definitely a push, man, that I have to kind of channel. But at the, mo- at the moment, well, it, yeah. I'm not there yet. <laughs> and I know it's just, you know, psychological. Well, yeah, yeah. Me and I have to get over it. But. Well, do you, I think there's also some value in. Um, in doing what comes naturally to you, you said earlier that you you have this journal, like you write, yeah, more personal yeah, stuff. So, like, why why not start a blog instead of a and YouTube? I do channel? have a blog, um, um, but for art, for your yeah, artwork, for my art, it's on my site too. So um, once in a while, I'll, oh, okay. I'll try to write. Uh, I'll, try. I'll try to write consistently, and I'll try to feature people. You know, especially if they're an ex- uh, inspirational to me or, or they've impacted me in some way. Yeah. Um, but I do write. I just wanted to try a different channel of expression, if you may. And video, yes. because I see yeah. it. I totally get it. Yeah. Everybody's doing it. I mean, you're doing it. And I was like, man, everybody's doing it. Yep. And I want to try it. I want to see if I can do it. You know, it's just one of those things that. You, like you said, you try it, you either you fail at it or or you the bomb. Yep. But um, that's my next chapter, I guess. I mean, aside from learning a new language. Cool. Man. Well, yeah. So. Yeah. Um, so it sounds like your major obstacles are time, of course. Yeah. Right? Time is definitely one of them. And then... Absolutely. And then confidence, would you say those are like your two biggest obstacles? Confidence has definitely been a, a, a damper on my stuff. Um, okay. And, and I've noticed it when I first started doing cons. You know, I'm not, I know you, it, I'm talking to you, but that's probably because I can't see you. But <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I get really quiet and I just let you talk and just listen and whatnot. Just yeah. like, kind of like the, the guy behind the scenes where I can do all the work, but I'll, I'll just keep quiet and do my stuff and then let yeah. somebody else. I, I totally yeah. get it, dude. I totally get it. It's, it's funny because like everything you're feeling and thinking and saying is I've, I've gone through it, you know, and I, I have I found the way for myself to kind of power through it. Uh-huh. Um, and you're, you're at that point where you just need that, maybe that, like that mental trick or something. Um, but like you're right there, you know. Yeah, that that effort. <laughs> I gotta do this. Dude, what are you what are you drawing, man? Um, are you still can hear me? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I try to move as far as far away from it as I could. Uh, what are you I'm drawing? Thor. So I have this image. I have this um, full Marvel this picture guy. on on my little corner in the garage that I where I do my original artwork and stuff. Those sketches. And it's my little getaway from everybody else. So All right, hey look, you, you and I will we'll do a live stream drawing together. Yeah, right? definitely. At, at definitely. some point. Definitely. 
<laughs> Dude, I, 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 I want to ask you, I want to ask you what? I love that, 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 that uh, venom that you did, man. Every time I look at it, I'm like, dude, that tongue, man, just the movement in it, just looking at it, like, whoa. <laughs> like, I can stare at it. The, which, which one? Um, it, it was the, I can't even, the, the re- most recent one that you did that I was, that I commented on and I told you, dude, I love this, man. I love the way you did this. That- uh, was it the one that I did for the podcast? I'm, or I have it as my podcast. That one, uh, Image? I, no, it's the other one. Oh, another the one? other one. I think yeah, it's right. the other one. Let me see the podcast right now. Um, I think it's the other the one. The podcast one is, is the one that's it's like digital painting, and I kind of went pretty in depth with it. Let me see, because I know I commented on it. Let me see if I can. Uh, okay. And I was like, dude, like, honestly, I was looking at it for a while. It's like, what the heck did he use, man? Look at that. Look at the spit on that yeah. tongue. It's ridiculous. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's, uh, which one is I mean, it? The one that you have now, it's pretty awesome. But it's the other one that kind of caught my attention. The one before it. Um, it's a, a far huh. back. Uh, really, a, a little ways back that you did. Oh, you know what? That's why I focus so much on it. Huh. It's the one with the Venom's tongue. That's why I focus so much on it. Um, circling Spider-Man's head. Oh, that one. That's yeah. not digital, is it? Uh, I did a market version and a digital um, version. I think I was... Yeah, I, I remember that. It was the, the regular version. Well, I'm glad you like it. I, was, I remember commenting. I'm glad you like it. What the heck, dude? <laughs> and you know, I, I love your... <laughs> like, it's not simple. But it's not like super detailed. Yeah. You just have that balance right there, and I was like, nah. "Man, this is awesome." I feel I like, like I, I, I feel like I do just what's necessary mm-hmm. to kind of get my point across, and I, I, I try not to go beyond what's necessary to get the point across. Yeah, yeah and that's one of the things I've been working on too, because I, re- I'm looking back at my old notebooks, I see that I, I was trying to mimic too much, like Jim Lee, Liefeld, and all those cats that. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, of, yeah, yeah. Like did too much detail and stuff. Well, I want to, I want to ask you something before we wrap it up, right? Uh-huh. Um, you are a very organized person. It seems like you do a lot of planning. Yes. Does that help you, or does that can that actually hurt you if you do too much of it? You know, I've never actually had it hurt me. Okay. A lot of the times, I feel like if I don't plan, then I freak out and I start. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. So, do I you see. think the planning is just kind of like it's like a safety blanket, but really you should just kind of like put yourself out there in some way? Yeah, I think sometimes there are times where I do plan too much and I should just do it. But a lot of times when I don't plan, I feel like I'm I'm scattered and all over the place. And I don't know. And it's happened to me in cons where I'll sit there and Mm. I I don't know what to draw. (laughs) You know. Um, So, yeah, planning does help. But it it, it can sometimes, like, hinder your progress if you do, if you overdo it. But then with anything, if you you do anything in excess, it's like, ah. Yeah, yeah. But I, I right. prefer planning over not. I know you do. <laughs> I can tell. Uh, I, a million I, one I, questions I asked you before we did this, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know, like, for me, bef- before I took the plunge in making the comic or taking my YouTube more seriously or the podcast, it was something that I thought about and thought, like, it was in the back of my head for a long time. Mm-hmm. And I didn't, it was just kind of, it was just back there, back there, back there until I finally said, that's enough. I got to do it. Yeah. Well, action that's, trumps that's, everything. Right. Yeah, exactly. So with all the planning you do, do you feel like you take enough action? I, I've trained myself to do so. Um, in the be, in the beginning, yeah. before all this, probably not. Probably I was planning too much and not doing anything. But it wasn't, I think, getting together with my buddies in New York um, to get the show started, because I was the one who came up with the idea. I was like, dude, we have these characters. Let's bring them to life. We have the tools. We can build them. 
you know, kind of like that. Um, yeah. It wasn't until then that I realized that, yeah, planning gets you far, but action takes you even further. So, yes. I think that's where we grow too, is by doing things. And then if you mess it up, you grow oh, from it. Yeah, you know? that's, that's definitely where we grow. When we make mistakes and you're like, oh, oops. Yeah. <laughs> All right, give me. Uh, you've already mentioned a follower. Actually, is there someone else that follows you that really kind of like made an impact on you? That follows me. Yeah, someone that you know really stood out to you, um, made an impact. There on is you. another person that actually have, has connected with me and asked me suggestions and questions, and um, I forget okay. at the moment her her handle and Instagram, but her name is Deb Deborah Roscoe. <laughs> I think it's okay. Deb. For, I forget her, her handle right now, but she's been. Um, uh, she's actually connected with the other guy, Vion, which is kind of cool. And I told him, I said, "It's so cool oh, wow. for you guys to connect with each other and like have conversations yeah. with each other, talking about artwork and, and processes and, and cool uh, how to get motivation actually for posting stuff because they were really scared to post us." online i was like dude just uh, just do it and just like what you just yep, told me exactly yeah <laughs> exactly just do it so, so do, would you, do you can you let her know how much you appreciate her like after we get off the call right here like oh do you sure. ever let her know that you really cool man oh definitely i mean she I has think... definitely uh kept like that little fire under me to keep me drawing nice. and like and so has Vian awesome. too. i know those are two other people that sometimes i feel like I'm, a, I have to hold myself accountable for them. If I say, "Oh, I'm gonna draw this," and I don't, like, "Oops," I'm letting them down, you know. And then there's a lot more. It's just awesome. at, the, at the moment, I can't name. Yeah, yeah. But no, no, a, I just I wanted one. You gave me two. Yeah, the um, those That's are the cool. ones that stand out. That's cool, man. Yes, let let them know how much you appreciate them, please. I think we need to do that a lot more uh, for these people that are giving us their attention. You know, I think like, we owe them that. Oh, yeah, definitely, man. I mean, like, even I'm freaking grateful every time somebody likes myself. I'm like, oh, yeah, man. oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. All right, Harold, I appreciate your time. It was really fun talking. Oh, no problem, man. Same here, man. I appreciate for you having me here and uh, let me talk to you and chat it up with you and talk shop. Yeah, exactly. All right, man. Thanks. All right, man. Take it easy. Bye.